<clears throat> hey family, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Happy Sis Mar back on more TV, back on another read. And we're gonna go right in and sage our space and see what's going on with my air family, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Okay, let's see what's going on. Hi, power, archangels, ancestors, gods, and goddesses of the divine white light. Please protect me and my family as we dip into this read. Please protect our energy from any unwanted souls, vibes, or entities. Ooh, excuse me. Please give us the clarity and the truth. Please surround us with your love and guide us with your wisdom. Always and forever. Higher power, archangels, and sisters of the divine white light. Showing gratitude and thanks for all the blessings, the lessons, the seasons, and the beginnings. <clears throat> for you delivering us away from temptation, guiding us throughout our journey to the motherland of milk and honey. Forever grateful for your divine protection and love. Amen. Now, with that being said, let's tap in. Okay? I was hearing. Bitch better have my money. Y'all should know me well enough. Pay me what you wanted. Yeah, I'm here. Don't act like you forgot. I call the shots, shots, shots. Like blah, blah, blah. Yeah, somebody here should be um wanting some money. We are going to start off with Aquarius, okay? Aquarius energy. So somebody here um, is definitely wanting something here. Aquarius. Rather than running from something from you or you're wanting something from somebody. Yeah. You want something now. You're thinking something never is going to happen, but it's actually going to come in another four weeks. Yeah. You could have thought something was going to come in five months. It's actually going to come in four weeks here. Let me see. Let's get some dates. Let's get one more. So, we got future, we got unlikely, okay, so, there's like some type of, I, I don't know if you're thinking towards the future, Aquarius, or you're, you're trying to, something, you're not likely, like you're thinking something's unlikely, something will never happen, or you're seeing like a dark tunnel here, you feel like you're getting a lot of closed doors, or you're not getting through to someone some type of closed off energy is also what i'm getting um <clears throat> i'm getting like you're trying to have you're having it's like you are trying to put your best foot forward with something are you it's like okay i don't know if you're predicting something to happen in the future or you're just giving something like you know how they say pray for the um Pray for the best, but prepare for the worst. It's type of that. It's that type of energy. It's like you're in the back of your mind, even though you might be preparing, preparing for the future, or thinking about the future here in the back of the mind. It's like um, it's unlikely to happen. You feel like yeah, it might not happen, but you know, um, hopeful thinking, wishful thinking. Okay, we got ans answer. Cancer energy. So somebody could be getting some type of answers from a cancer. Okay. Um, this could be something you don't see coming. Something about January. Okay. The month of January. Let's get one more. And we got divine timing. So something's happening in divine timing. It's happening the way it's supposed to. Thursday is coming out. It's coming out in reverse. So I feel like you're not knowing this is going to happen. Okay. Um, this is gonna catch you like catch you off guard. Yeah, y'all don't don't mind. <laughs> no well. But this is like gonna catch you off guard. Whether you're um a cancer, you're dealing with a cancer, somebody has cancer in their chart, you don't see this coming, but something's gonna happen Thursday. Let's see what's come what's going up. I was gonna say what's coming up. Go boo. Hey, go play. Goodness. <clears throat> If I if I if I had to pause my camera, it's gonna be trouble, trouble. Get on out of here. Let's stop playing with me. Y'all don't mind it, well.
Yeah, this thing has something to do with finances. Yeah, somebody keeps saying, bitch, better have my money. Somebody's waiting on something. Give me something for future higher power. Yeah, I'm getting like, you could be having nightmares or dreams. I'm getting like, this is waking you up. So maybe you're seeing the future. Maybe you're you're feeling it. You're you're hearing it. You're in the moment of it. Um, Yeah. Some type of reconciliation here. You could, you, yeah, we got empress coming out. So I don't know, somebody is having a dream about an empress or a pregnancy or some type of foundation or stability or happiness. Um, I'm also getting something about a thief here. So you could be having dreams not only about whether I'm here a tarot reader. So for some of you guys, this thief is like a tarot reader or somebody's trying to steal uh, knowledge from a tarot reader. You could be a tarot reader. Take it however it may resonate. Um, but I'm getting like this is like something that's happening in the dreams, but it's coming into reality here. Like this is not just any ordinary dream, um, Aquarius. This is this is um, the future here future predicted and maybe you didn't know that or maybe you do know that um and it's like it's resonating meaning like you're feeling something here there could have been one particular dream you could have had around the winter time and this could have been very significant in some kind of way um <clears throat> or about a, uh, a winter time being left out in the cold or not celebrated or not being happy here some of you guys, you are dreaming about your downfalls, you're dreaming about your uprisings, you're dreaming about anything that has something to do with the future. Um, so, like, it could be a thief, uh, somebody that's in your energy, also, like, a pregnancy or a divine feminine, or you could be the divine feminine, or you could be dreaming about you being on the throne here. I'm just getting, like, this driving energy, but it's not just that. It's, like, all of the above here. So, somebody here, I feel like you're very wise, you're very intuitive. Okay. You could have dreamed about something happening happening in the winter time. This could have something to do with transportation or a car or a household. Um, okay. Hmm. And maybe it don't come out exactly how it is in the dreams, but it's very similar. Okay. Because some of you guys are having dreams about you in another life and you may have relived a certain moment. Okay. And it comes back in a different kind of form, but it's the same way. Meaning, like, if you have a dream about you losing a job, but instead you lose a car. You get what I'm saying? Something like that. Um, and we see, I'm seeing transportation here, the chariot. So somebody literally could be having troubles with a car, a vehicle. Um, I'm hearing beep, beep, who got the keys to the Jeep, Jeep. Some of you guys, you looking to buy you a new car soon. Are you getting a new car? What is this unlikely here? I'm getting like you put boundaries up uh, um, on yourself. It's just I feel like it's a it's a defense mechanism for whoever you are. So it's like even though you're dreaming about happiness, are you seeing things to be happy? Are you want happy? It, again, it's like that preparing for the worst type of energy. Um, it's like in the back of your mind. Yeah, <clears throat> some of you guys, this could definitely have something to do with a relationship, holding on to a significant person. A person place or a thing here um for some this guy for some of you guys you just you you're keeping options around you or you're just kind of like circling around something circling around this cup or kind of debating here and this this cup though it could be it could be energy it could be love it could be emotions okay some of you guys you're dating um you could be dating individuals or just like i said keeping your options open or you just Keeping your op option open, but not with dating. Like, okay. So, it's like, oh, well. It's like a plan B. Plan, plan A, plan B, plan C. Like, oh, yeah, if this doesn't work, then it's not. And I don't mean with, like, you know, dudes or women. I'm getting, like, you like, okay, well. Okay. Say, for instance, this is what I'm getting. Say, for instance, you have a dream that you're going to be in this big house. You're going to be married. You're going to be happy. You're going to be, um financially stable and everything right but then in the back of your mind you're like okay that's what i had a dream about but if that does not happen i'm still gonna make sure i'm doing my part to get that house that you know what i'm saying it's like a backup plan it's like man i still love how i look in that dream so i want to make sure i'm still gonna get that house that stability that foundation here you know you know whether it's with the person i've seen in the dream or with another person so i'm getting like that's that seven of cups energy it's like 
having a backup plan so some of you guys you but this is like some type of form of boundaries you have put up it's almost like a wall um i have power is okay with you thinking this way aquarius but it's the energy of like don't dwell on the past or don't dwell on it too much because you don't want to manifest that things are not going to happen for you um you just kind of it's, it's okay to have a plan b okay yeah, it's okay to have a plan B. It's okay to, you know, mm, kind of see what's out there as far as, like, jobs, careers, even dating for some of you guys. But just know, like, in the background, like, there is, you know, you're being shown this future. You're being shown all this for a reason here. Um, Even coming down to the thieves, okay, you're being shown our... You know everything for a reason here but some of you guys this thief energy has already happened and it's being left out in the cold are not celebrating energy that has already happened for some of you guys i don't feel like that's going to be a problem here yeah queen of pentacles because you're actually moving forward um and maybe you guys don't see yourself being rich or see yourself being successful maybe it's not happening how you want it to be exactly right now but it actually is. Some of you guys are going to be a great teacher. Um, a great motivator. Um, stop thinking negative. It's like, oh yeah, if I if I say I can, then I know I can. That's how you should be thinking. Not, oh, I say I can, but I don't know if I can. Because it's like, that's going to be in the back of your mind. And that is what's going to fuck you up. You know, keep pushing forward and have confidence about yourself. Okay, we also have the hermit in reverse. So, I feel like you, somebody's opening up here coming out we got the empress the queen of wands and the ten of cups coming out in the reverse so something to do with an emotional family okay somebody could be finding somebody i feel like this is a person yeah look at that lovers somebody the finest somebody is Ooh, y'all heard me i was gonna say somebody is fine ass <laughs> that's not what i'm finna that's not what i was gonna say i'm finna say somebody finna come out look and i just in the a somebody's finna come out and say something here yeah, no more fighting, no more competition, okay? Are not putting you in competition if this is a relationship, okay? Are you just feeling like you don't have to compete or, or be put against anybody? I don't know. Somebody could have been watching you from the sideline for a minute, and I was going to say cancer. So there could be a cancer, or you, or you definitely have cancer, but somebody's been watching you from the sideline here for a minute, Aquarius. Um kind of admiring you this person has been quiet or kind of mute about um ooh. i just heard this person is kind of quiet or being mute about their location so for some of you guys this person is like near you um i'm inspired coming out of heartbreak this person could have some challenges and stuff obstacles that they gotta um deal with themselves yeah or this is you somebody's coming out of the cold coming out being a re in regret or um regretting something okay yeah somebody's celebrating alone and that is that three of cups coming out in the reverse again you could be having dreams about a particular person. Or, like I said, you could be having dreams about yourself. This could definitely be you. Maybe this is you coming out of Hermit, okay? Aquarius. I'm here. I'm coming out. I want the world to know. Got the lady show. Yeah, some of you guys, you're coming out about some shit. Okay, we got the Ten of Pentacles coming out here. We got... Um, <clears throat> I heard generational curse, generational uh, family members. Some of you guys are dealing with um a family here, a family group mm, that you're not so happy about. Somebody could have been born in um uh, into a coven, okay? And I know we hear that often, so let's just keep moving on. Yeah, but somebody's family has real witches and warlocks uh, attached to it. What is this cancer energy we got during cancer season? So this could be around June or July here. Yeah, some type of toxicity. Some type of chain of reactions or events will be broken here around the um, month of cancer. There will be blessings, opportunity. There will be success, clarity coming through. I'm also getting a, a hard sh uh, shower. 
a hard shower. Um, I don't know. It can rain. I'm getting. It might be a night where it's thundering. Okay, this might happen significantly when there's like thunder. But I'm getting like, yeah, I'm hearing April showers, brings May flowers. Um, but I, I believe cancer season is around June or July, right? Yeah, so it could be around the summer. Or like I said, this could just be a cancer. But I'm getting like, I'm hearing significant rain. Yeah, somebody here, something's going to happen. There's, there's going to be some towers happening in individuals' lives. Okay, it's, it's some people. Um, the people of the past are past events. It's, it's going to be some tower moments happening here. Yeah, I'm here. Hold on to your horses here. Somebody's rushing in and not rejecting something here. Somebody's manifesting, wanting to bring in some type of balance. And I, I feel like that is what's going to cause a tower moment for individuals. But this is not just one person. This is uh, multiple people here. Somebody fell out of love or somebody missed some type of blessing or opportunity at one time. And somebody feels like they're not going to... Yeah, I'm hearing, uh, bitch, you better never let it go. You want to get one shot. What did he say? Opportunity once in a lifetime. Who is that? Eminem? Okay. Somebody saying like they, they, they're finna, they, they finna go for it, okay? Or they will be going for it, um, because they don't want to waste any more time. And there definitely could be blockages going on right now here. Somebody's juggling. Because they know that they're going to pull through here. Or they're going to... Are you going to pull through? Okay. Yeah. Marriage and completion here. Ten of Cups. Happiness. Wish fulfillment. Okay. Somebody's not happy about that as well. We're not going to get too much on the negative energy. Yeah. Being inspired. You being inspired at this time is divine timing. Um, You might not feel it that way or you might not recognize it as that but it is you being inspired this way um even some of you guys you could be picking up on the signs of synchronicities if you're paying attention to what's happening all around you you're noticing that um some type of giving and receiving or it's like you could feel it people could be hitting on stuff or saying stuff you know people you don't even um tell your business to or whatever you're just kind of getting like downloads here if you're paying attention to it but i'm getting like whoever you are you're very intuitive and so you are paying attention to it and the reason why it's coming towards you this way and some type of inspirational way is because it's it's time for um it's divine timing here it's like being vulnerable being open and acceptive okay i'm also getting something about taking responsibility this is also giving me like breaking free freedom okay Somebody um, feels as if, or somebody's knowing that they will be self-sabotaging something if they do not hold on to this opportunity or this um, inspirational idea or opportunity, whatever this is. Um, walking away or breaking free of something of the past was good luck here. Um, it was part. It was destined to happen. So maybe you could be getting. This could be confirmation. For somebody Aquarius um, maybe you felt didn't know if you were doing the right thing and somebody could be dealing with a Sagittarius but I feel like this came out a little bit for I think Sagittarius and Leo maybe somebody didn't know exactly if they were doing the right thing or not my higher power said you're definitely doing the right thing um and you walking away from something not giving some type of energy um and I feel like it got something to do with this three of cups because we got three and three this is the three of pentacles coming out in the reverse. Wow, and look at the lovers at the bottom of the deck. Can't make it up. Yeah, there's some type of delayed conversation here. Yeah, emperor in the reverse. Somebody definitely was an emperor in the reverse, okay? They were not honorable. They were not respectful. They were not um, passionate. They were not caring or kind. This person did not take the lead on things. Um, and they know that they self-sabotage it. Or they're getting... They're understanding it now. They're understanding why and how and how everything works. So, yeah, I feel like now somebody is taking a chance 
of a lifetime here, or they will be. To keep moving forward. Like I said, this could be you, Aquarius, or this is somebody else here. Let's see what's going on with your finances. Give me something for a Sagittarius finances. Ooh, see what I'm saying? Give me something for Aquarius's. My Aquarius family. Finances and career. <laughs> I'm here to say no to drugs. Somebody could be trying to influence you to do something or tell you to do something here. I feel like I'm talking to a woman. Finances and career for Aquarius. What do they need to know? Finances and career. What do they need to know? I'm hearing your money is looking beautiful or it's, it's going to be blossoming very soon. Some of you guys, you have been doing money spells or money potions here. My power saying it's working. Give it a little bit more time. And not to say like you're manipulating the universe or you should be doing money spells. But some of you guys, yeah, there was a disruption. There was a, disrupt, there was a disruption in your money. So... It's not like you're manipulating anything. You're actually putting things back into a um, um, back into alignment. And look at that number thirty three and number twenty nine. We got exit strategy. So I'm getting like this is this is um, this is something that needs to be done here. Or you should do this. This is actually okay. Look at that success skyrock. I can't make it up, y'all. I never get on here playing y'all y'all face. It says. Keep an open mind of desired business outcomes when making decisions. Investors want to get your money back, usually by selling your company and going or going public. The price is often five out of ten. Your annual, your annual revenue, but can vary depending on the business type. So I'm getting like weighing, weighing things out, looking, looking. You know, if this is like talking about contracts, business strategy um signing any checks record labels record deals for some of you guys um really look through it thoroughly look up words if you have to get an attorney if you have to um something is blossoming i'm getting like you are growing here but you just want to make sure you're making the right decision as far as who you partnering up with and who you're deciding um and if this is like advertising or sales or you know anything of that nature just kind of watching your back okay i feel like that is what it's talking about and we got building a relationship network it's not just customers but with disruption sources um to these customers consider shopping language um localization measurement systems and a law of different marketing so this is like branching out and again like i said shit use it use it if high power is giving it to you to for you to be able to um be successful here or blossom you know what what the fuck will it hurt i mean i don't feel like it will hurt none at all i mean and like i said you're not doing it for the wrong reasons and i don't feel like i'm talking to a greedy individual if you're greedy conniving and stingy then yeah of course that's it's not gonna work for you but if if you're somebody where like i said there was disruptions in your money source not only that but you are meant to have something anyways because you're not a stingy individual. You will share with others here. Then go ahead, use this. Use this as a marketing tool. Use this as a, strat a strategy here. Um, as like a step st stepping stone. But I'm also getting like higher power. Also want you to be wise about your networking as well. You don't need to tell everybody everything about you, the ins and outs of your business or how to make business. Um, it's something about paying attention to the details. I don't know who that's for, but I'm here. Pay attention to the details. Pay attention to certain things, certain gestures when you're around certain individuals as well. Um, if you are giving anybody any type of insight on business or discussing business, like, I don't know if you're branching out or somebody's doing some type of marketing or advertising or, like, um, just talking with other people. Um, her power stands to, like, be discerning. 
about what you do for business, how you do it, and, and your revenue, like saying how much money you're making or how much this is that. Be careful of that. You don't. People don't need to know that shit. Like, if they want to get into the business that you're doing or they want to follow along with what you're doing, then they can definitely jump on that train and figure that out themselves, okay? It's just um, all about being discerning at this time because I feel like you got a lot of nosy people that's in your business. Um, and that could be the reason why you're having these disruptions. You might not even know. You could tell somebody, like, oh, yeah, I just shit, decided to um, start blogging on YouTube. Next thing you know. Your YouTube not being, you know, not successful, but it's because, you know, motherfuckers in the background hating, okay? Which has happened, y'all. I mean, it happened to me. I even got my, um, my damn YouTube deleted. Um, yep, I feel like it was YouTube that deleted my shit, too. I don't know who did, I, I, I ain't finna get into it. Because it was a lot of weird shit going on. That's all I'ma say. Because it got deleted, it wasn't no warning, it wasn't no nothing, it wasn't, you know... It was just, like, gone. I woke up and my shit was gone. So, yeah, a lot of hocus pocus, a lot of hate, a lot of, you know, but that's how you know you chosen for real. You know, motherfucker ain't gonna hate. Motherfucker ain't gonna hate um, on a motherfucker for nothing. But that is all I got for you guys. Thanks for chilling with your girl, my crazy family. And I will definitely catch you guys in the next one. Peace, love, and prosperity. Till next time. Mwah. Bye. Hey family, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, High Priestess Mar. Back with more tea, back with another read, and we're going to go right in and cleanse the energy and see what is going on for my Libras, okay? Hi, Father, what is the current energy for my Libras? Cleansing the energy for my Libra family. Cleansing the energy for my Libras. What do they need to know? Cleansing the energy for my Libras. Event postponed. So something was postponed, Libra. Okay, I'll fix it later. There was an event, event that was postponed, Libra. Monday could be significant. Autumn could be significant. Somebody could like drinking tea. Or I'm hearing nasal passages. Somebody could be um, having like a sinus infection or like runny nose or something of that nature. Somebody not necessarily sick, but maybe you you um, your nose is always stopped up or something. We got during Libra season. Okay, Libra coming out of your own reading. So I'm getting like this could be around September. What's that? September, October. Okay. I'm also hearing Scorpio. We got at uh, third quarter, at third quarter, which you might not be aware of this. Something is happening at third quarter around Libra season, okay? It's a little bit farther away from now, but let's see what's going on. We got two more that fell on the floor. Three months and one day. This is giving energy of a countdown with that three months and one day energy. Some of you guys, you could have, you could be dealing with your twin. I'm hearing nobody knows me like you do. Nobody knows loves me quite like you. I'm hearing somebody say they can't sleep at night. Oh, thank you, booty. But that one goes over there. So. Three months and one day. I feel like somebody's counting down. Look, it's up in the air. I'm getting this up. If it's up, then it's up, then it's stuck. Yeah, that's definitely Libra energy, okay? That's Cardi B. Boo boo. Go. Yeah, so let's see what's going on here. So, some of you, like I said, for some of you guys, you're dealing with your twin, or you are a twin. Take a how it resonate. This can be a high level soulmate or a kin, um, a ki your kingdom spouse. Let's see what's going on around Libra season. Or for some of you guys, you could have met somebody around Libra season, and maybe something's happening now. Okay, something significant about Libra season. Let's see what's going on, high power. Ooh. I just seen the Empress. Let's see. What's going on, High Fire? 
Give us some paper. Libra Caesar. We got the Emperor in reverse. So somebody could have been a little bit of a narcissist. Or I'm not even going to say a little bit. I'm not even finna sugarcoat it. Somebody could have definitely been a fucking narcissist around Libra season, okay? Yeah, a, a huge tower moment. Somebody's having like a huge tower moment or some type of cross. Somebody's being daggered right into the heart. Or somebody could have, this could have been you. You could have been daggered in the heart, Libra. You could be getting over some type of traumatic event here. Somebody could have hurt your feelings or broke your heart. I'm getting like you're a giant though, so you survived this, especially with the 10 coming out here. Somebody could want to be apologetic or somebody could want to say something to you or lend some type of offer or be nice to you um, or even be romantic, okay? Um, yeah, somebody could want to present some type of offer here after denying the offer. So somebody's manifesting an offer that was denied. So if you gave somebody an offer or somebody rejected you, turned their back on you, um, or just didn't answer your phone calls or receive your messages, I don't know, somebody kind of ignored you, okay, or put you off, um, whatever that was, Libra here. I feel like somebody is wanting something. I'm here waiting on your hand and foot. So I feel like somebody is like waiting on you or they want want something from you. This could be that person here. Somebody could also be dealing with some type of bad luck. They're coming out of the cold, out of a cold situation here. Knight of Wands energy. I feel like this person has like a knight. Uh, uh, I'm hearing knight shining armor. This person is like a on the go type of energy. I feel like they're iffy, but not because like they could just be passionate. Um, this is somebody I feel like they go back and forth with themselves because it's hard for them to make decisions. Not that it's they just it's like they can't grab they grip their mind around it. They don't know if they're making the right decision or not. So this per, the individual could be like put in all different which way which ways. Um. Simply because they have a hard time making a mind up. They have a hard time being firm. I also feel as if this person is getting the energy of like you're you're uninspired that you don't want anything to do with them Libra and this could also be causing delays as well um from them saying something or moving forward and with it coming out as a delay I feel like somebody's supposed to be doing something okay we're getting the chariot in the reverse meaning like there's a delay, delay there's a blockage there's a hold there's a stop um there's like some type of something in the way here yeah an incomplete cycle Something that needs to be closed up or ended out. I don't know if this person never gave you closure. We got the lovers. So, again, this is your twin flame. This is your soulmate here. Um, They want to apologize to you, but they feel as if you're the queen of swords energy. But this is justice. This is justice. You, you're supposed to be in this queen of swords energy, this very discerning energy at this time. Especially after giving, getting, ooh, I was going to say giving, giving all you got. You could have gave all you got to this person, Libra. Um, but actually, after being, you know, put down or being let down or being deceived, okay, not just from this individual, I feel like there was like a series amount of events that was happening around this Libra, during this Libra season. So it wasn't just, you know, maybe this person being an emperor in reverse was one, but also I'm getting like, you know, other tower moments could have happened around this time. Yeah, you're healed now. You're not bitter. You're not mad. You're not angry. You're healed. Or is this, it's saying this person's healed. Coming out of Hermit. Or this is you popping out. If you're the Libra, then you're popping out. Okay. And you're healed. But if you are the one who, you know, was in this tower moment, then I'm getting like this other individual is healed. Or they're healing. Yeah, somebody wants to come in and celebrate or celebrate or they already celebrate they're already celebrating some type of victory or some type of win whether you notice or not libra um this person's already yeah i'm here congratulations they're getting congratulations from other people i'm i feel like you don't know nothing about this 
they're afraid that you're not going to accept them or you're not going to follow through with it but like this person is like already putting something into play in their mind they already feel like it's already a yes um they're kind of like moving forward with things like they're already celebrating things being closed out or being things being um completed here this cycle so why do they feel like you don't want to deal with them i don't know if it's some type of anxiety because if they're already celebrating and they're already having big victories are they already happy about it why do they feel like and i'm getting the king of swords i get like this person's a, a bit of an overthinker okay i'm not getting exactly that you have said no or let this person down in any kind of way you probably haven't even said shit you just probably being you but because they're ex extra sensitive and because that they know that they did something to you it's all in their mind it's all in their mind so it's like you could be sitting on the couch and be like, huh, I really just ugh, can't stand the people at work. They're going to be like, oh my goodness, you got a bad attitude. I'm sorry. I know they piss you off at work and then I'm pissing you off. And then I'm like, they're going to get the like, and it's like, dude. Or say, step in since you say something else and then they feel like you're, you're throwing subliminals or something. They could be saying you're throwing subliminals. I'm hearing subliminals. They think you're throwing shots at them. <laughs> I heard missiles. They think you're throwing missiles. Yeah, this is definitely that Queen of Swords energy. Some of y'all, I feel like... I don't feel like you are throwing shots at this individual. You're just kind of putting the... Sh it's like if the shoe fit type of energy. It's like shit. I mean, it's not necessarily, I don't know. Just maybe you just think differently than this person. Because I'm getting like you're somebody. When you went through your tower, when you went through your heartache, your pain. Because remember, you're getting over something, Libra. You're healing. You had a whole tower moment. You were stabbed in the heart. Severely. And I'm getting like multiple times. Like friendships relationships business stuff could have been failing in your life shit was hurting your feelings that you didn't even think could hurt your feelings not just this person because we got the the emperor in reverse but we also got a tower so you also deal with a tower on top of this person being a narcissist or manipulative or just not being honorable or there for you when you needed them so i'm getting like you build yourself up though and i'm getting like you could be somebody where um, you shook that shit off or you kept moving forward. Maybe this person's just not that strong. Okay? And not to call anybody weak. Um, but this could definitely be something. You know how people go through shit and they get through shit and it make them tougher. It's almost like you turn around you turn around and you tell a motherfucker your autobiography and they be looking at you like, damn, I had no idea you went through all that. Yeah, baby, because I don't look like what I've been through. But I'm getting like this is somebody they could be coming out of the car or they're healing or whatever that they've been through. They just feel really bad for doing whatever that they did to you. They feel really guilty. But not only that, this is somebody where I guess they're learning how to beat. Um, how I don't know. They're learning how to, I guess, deal with you. I'm also here discerning. It's something about you not being the same either. They like that, but you're you're tough. I hear I heard tough as nails. Somebody is real sharp at the tongue. I'm getting like a sword in somebody's mouth. Somebody is really sharp at the tongue. Like you'll go off, you'll say some shit. Some of you guys you're working on that. Um but some of you guys you're just you just kinda tell it how it is. And you might look at this person and really hurt their feelings. And it's like, damn, I, damn. And then you be like, man, your crybaby ass, oh, damn, I'm sorry. Like, uh, uh. And then it's frustrating to you because I feel like this Queen of Swords energy has become a way of living. But it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just a part of you now. It's a part of you now. Um, It's who you are. You needed to activate that because you could have been somebody that was very loving and caring. And you went through some type of... Um, you know, people 
coming against you or backing you in a corner here when you had no choice to kind of shit you got sharp you got you you play the game how the game go and and you start looking at people differently this could be friends or family this could even be this individual you were looking at differently you start being more analytic you start calling people out on their shit you even start cussing a, cu a couple people out you got more brave you got more bold you challenge more you do what the fuck you got to do more and i'm getting like look queen of swords in the reverse but we got the temperance here I mean, this person viewing you as something that you're necessarily not, they're taking it in a different kind of way because they hurt you. So in their eyes, they're looking at it as, oh, you view them as the enemy. When I feel like you don't necessarily view nobody as the enemy because you're healed. You don't have no enemies. The enemy is an uh, ongoing event or situation. You don't have no enemies. You can care less about any, mo any, any, any motherfucking body. But the thing about it is because they know that they hurt you or they had some type of hand that you're in destruction or you're down for your demise hurting you, whether they were willingly doing it or not, you know, their actions could have just been hurting you. They know that your tongue is sharp towards them or they just feel that way. That's just like if you go around a female and you be like, ugh, I hate big mouth bitches. And then it's a big mouth bitch. And then you like... And then they mad. I, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I ain't talking about you, but if the shoe fit, damn. Like, so? Like, shut up then. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, what? Like, what you supposed to What? Like, shit. If the shoe fit, maybe you need to close your fucking mouth then. I don't know. Like, what do you want me to say? But then, like, to you, it's I mean, like, to them, it's coming off, you know... Like, oh, you throwing shots. No, I ain't throwing no shots. I'm just saying. I'm just being me. And some of y'all, you are literally just being you. <laughs> and you are this queen of swords. It's a part of you. Like, it's who you are. Um, You needed this. You needed this development. Um, You actually progressed very beautifully. Some of you guys, I'm, I'm telling you, you were too soft. Or you were too lean with. You could have had people who were doing shit right in front of your face friends this fucking person could have been doing shit right in front of your face and so now that you are in a whole new energy in a whole new light i guess this person is wanting you to come out of this king queen of swords energy okay so what does that mean for them i heard i play the game how the game go so what does that mean for them if that is what they want, okay? This is telling me illusion. They're having a hard time deciphering or they're having a hard time understanding. Um, they don't know which route to take or which road to go down. They don't know exactly how to do this. Um, again, with the overthinking a little bit. But they're doing the right kind of thinking. They're being an, uh, analytic. They are, but then they're thinking too much to it. Um, okay. They're on to something, breaking out of toxicity. That could have been something that would ease the blow a little bit. I mean, not nobody want to deal with a motherfucker that's coming back around with the same ass energy. I'm getting like somebody knows that they have to change and be completely different. They have to break out of their ways of toxicity. If you're approaching someone and you are the same as when you left them, you think they're going to give you a chance? Or you think that they're going to um, even sit down and talk? No. And it's really easy, because when somebody's in a Queen of Swords, King of Swords energy, it's very easy to decipher if somebody's on some bullshit. You're going to smell their ass from a mile away. Like, I smell you through this phone. You on some bullshit. Goodbye. So, I'm getting, like, now, um, somebody knows that breaking out of toxicity was one of the ways that they could ease the blow. This guy has something to do with a marriage as well. They broke off some type of marriage. And this was not for you. I'm hearing it. This was not for you, Libra. If you are the feminine in this, if you are the queen of swords energy in this, this was not for you. 
this was for them. But it's going to soften the blow. Because it helped them get rid of what was around them that was also toxic. Sometimes, sometimes people around a person could be toxic for an individual as well. Yeah. They released some type of boundary. They had a boundary. They let go of something. They let their guard down. I don't know. This could have been something you wanted this person to do. This could have been something. Like, say, for instance, if this was the type of individual, they're like, oh, I ain't doing that. I ain't saying that. I ain't being that way. Fuck that. Blah, blah, blah. They're letting all that go. Because they're like, you know what? I'm, I'm going to have to go in this different. I'm going to have to do this different. Again, breaking out of toxicity. Okay. Presenting an offer. Now, Libra, this could come in different kind of ways. This could be, oh, hi, hello, how are you? You know, do you want to go out and have a cup of coffee? I'm getting like somebody's going to ease in there. They're not going to come on too strong. They're not going to come off too... Um, assertive like oh yeah um dinner then movies and then all that like somebody's not gonna do that they're gonna do something simple they're gonna do something easy they're gonna do something out in public so you feel comfortable um they're also going to let maybe let you pick the area the place they're also going to um they're gonna be they're gonna approach you different not hey baby how you doing well, like this person's going to come as a real gentleman like, it's almost like they want to shock you. But not in a, oh, I'm going to play with their mind kind of way. This person wants to, they want to show you that they've changed. I'm getting like, this is why, oh, okay, thank you, High Power. This is how they're celebrating. This is how, because they're already getting a routine of it. This person's already getting a routine of being this way. So that it won't be more of like a force when they're around you. It's more of like a way. It's more like a way. And I'm getting like, they know that you'll know the difference. It's, it's, different when, it's different when you're turning your phone off or you putting your phone on vibrate. And, you know, so all your females can, um, so because you, you're on a date and you don't want all your females to be um dinging you all night but then you keep going up to the bathroom five times because you got to make phone calls back to females that study texting you and calling you it's different versus cutting off everybody and actually sitting there not turning your phone on vibrate actually not having a password on your phone or if you do have a password on your phone phone face up having a nice meal eye contact or having a nice drink really engaging in the conversation you get what i'm saying it's it's completely di different atmosphere. I feel like this this is what this person wants to bring to you. You got blockages. So I'm getting like this is not going to happen right now. This is why this is coming three months and three months here. Woo! Well, well, well. What do we have here? Now the emperor was in the reverse. We have it in the upright. So this person is dealing with some challenges. They are having some technical difficulties. Okay, but I am getting that this person making it happen though. They 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 being they they working on being the emperor though. This is this is right. I'm here. Will you give me a chance? Will you give me a chance? This person wants to know when you give them a chance. Yeah. What is this? We got a queen of wands in the upright here. We got a king of wands in the upright, but then we got a queen of wands in the reverse. Somebody's not liking the new person that this person is. Somebody's not liking the new person. And I want to say new you, Libra. So let me find out. I'm talking to the cross watcher. Okay. They don't they don't like this new person that this this man is becoming. They don't like they don't they don't ugh, they like oh they don't they don't like the new version of them. Um This is given like arguments. This is given like delays, conversation. This is like something that needs to be said that's not being said here. Um, somebody's holding on to the past of some type of self sabotaging energy or um, what is this? 
What is this? Yeah, the past. An X. I'm getting like there could be a woman that's that's talking about you or talking about something that happened in the past. Okay? Because we got the Queen of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles left out in the cold. I don't know what happened with this situation juggling. This man is juggling this though. Maybe she's making this man feel bad. Yeah. She could be making this man feel bad. Or trying to play on their thoughts and emotions or something. I don't know. She keeps bringing up something from the past that happened. Oh, she keeps saying like, oh, yeah, they're, they're not finna deal with you. They're not gonna want you. You left them. You did all that. They not finna deal with you. Shit, if that was her, if I was me, if that was me, I'll fuck, I'll fuck you over. I'll do this and I'll do that. Like, she's she's making this man in his, in his head. She's making him in the eight of swords. She's making him feel like, oh, she's not gonna want you. She's not gonna wanna be with you. Or, or she gonna cheat that. She probably got plenty of men talking to her. Or she probably got this and that and that and that and that. Um, how you did her. Yeah, she she gonna get revenge on you. Like, she, he's, she's sending this energy towards this man. Um, or she could be physically saying this. Okay. What is one day? Bad news. Bad news. And we're getting a... Oh, there could be a fight. I don't know. This could be tomorrow. Because we got three months and then we got one day. And then we got the Tower... I mean, the Five of Wands in reverse. Like... Something that's been held in for so long is now coming out. This could be bad news for an individual here. And, and somebody's going to want to fight. Um, somebody's going to want to argue. Or, or the argument might lead to a fight. Something here bad might happen. Yes, yeah, secrets. Some secrets coming out. Who is this between? Coming together. This could have some type of... This has something to do with coming together. Oh, if this is this man that's coming together with you. Who is this? Oh, King of Cups. And the... In the reverse. Who is this? The sun. Something's being illuminated here. This can have something to do with a child. Don't have to be... Yeah, I'm here, bitch. Better have my money. Some type of changes. Some type of secret is going to come out here. Somebody's unapologetic about something. And something's also justice. Something to do with this King of Cups. Some type of coming together or celebrating out in the public. Somebody's unapologetic about this though. self-sabotage this it's the king of cups energy out here to try to self-sabotage something and something's gonna come out in the future about this damn person trying to come in between something here yeah sneaking and lying being deceptive this person's gonna have some type of tower or they already having a tower by being manipulative 
they tried to self sabotage something. I don't know if this is an individual that tried to come in between something here. Something caught you off guard here. Somebody rushed in um, and tried to come in between something here. Yep. Um, this is something that's going to be found out about, and this might even cause a fight or an argument. Um, yeah. Um, I don't know if you dated somebody, Libra. You had some type of two cups energy with somebody. Somebody that found some shit out. Page of Swords. Somebody that found something out. If y'all dated somebody else or y'all was dibbing and dabbling and some shit. Um somebody found that out. Um, if y'all if y'all if y'all went towards somebody. But whoever this person was, they were like, um, this was a plot. Somebody was sent towards you on purpose, or somebody was coming to your energy on purpose. Maybe you didn't date this person, maybe you did. Um, but they were sent towards you on purpose here to, to cause some type of disruption in this ten of cups energy. Um, they want to they wanted to have a time over. They they were sneaking to or in order to have a time over here. Somebody gonna find this out. Um, or this is gonna be energy of somebody gonna get into it or have an argument. Um shit, this could even be I'm 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 doing this video now, so this could even be tomorrow. Like today is Monday, so it might be tomorrow with that day one. Might even be tomorrow, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know, somebody gonna somebody gonna find something out and, and they ain't gonna like it, they gonna be mad. Um, or they already found something out. But I feel like whoever you are, you already, yep, look at that rebirth. I feel like whoever you are, you don't talk to this person. Like I said, this was like a karmic soulmate energy. Um, this could even be like your false flame. They were sent in. They could have been a part of somebody's family as well. I don't get that your person's family, but they could have been a part of um, this Jezebel spirit's family. And they were sent in, or a person of a person, I don't know. They were they were sent in to come in to uh, manipulate you and stir you away from being in a Ten of Cups with this individual here. Um, they're still trying to do this as well, but I feel like they're doing it energetically. For some of you guys, they're still around. For some of you guys, they're doing it energetically. They could be, even be doing it through other people. But I'm getting like you're firm. Now, for some of y'all, you did take a chance on this person because you thought they were true. Um, but that is the whole point of a false flame. So you guys deal with the false flame and they dealt with a false flame as well. Um, you guys both were manipulated is what I'm hearing. Rather, even if you were not even in a relationship with this person. For some of y'all, you were. But for some of y'all, you were just, um... It was just like more of like a fling. Like, say for instance, if this person was dealing or uh, dealing with who they were dealing with and they were like cheating and things like that. Maybe they came in as if they were real or true, gave you some type of energy. For some of y'all, it just was that. They gave you some type of energy. For some of y'all, you, you found out that this person was a liar, that they were still doing whatever that they were doing here. And so you played the game how the game go. You never, I feel like... You kind of did your own thing here, but maybe that person was just somebody in the moment. But you didn't know that they were trying to self-sabotage you. And I, I feel like you guys had a rebirth um, or some type of transition. For some of you guys, you, you have regret of even like giving this person your energy. Even dealing with them at all. Simply because you didn't know the dark, darkness of this person. Um, this person was dark. They were like some type of magician, whoever this King of Cups energy was. This person could be one an apology too. They could be all up in your energy, but they're doing something here.
Yeah. I feel like you're rejecting this person. You're not giving them any energy. Not only that, but you can feel that vampire energy all around them as well. Like, um, even if it's through other people, you can feel the the mag magnetic um, attraction. Like, I'm getting like, you, they're attracted to you. And they could be sending that energy, making other negative people attracted to you. Um, attracted to you, but you're not attracted to these people. And that's a reason. But again, we have justice here. So something, it was a lesson to be learned through that as well, too. Maybe it was something for you to see as well. Yeah, look, determination. And I'm getting like they're coming through other individuals with this name of wands energy, with this nine of wands. Like they're coming through other individuals. Or they're literally, they could literally be sending other people towards you and you don't even know it. Like literally paying people, sending them. Or they are... um energetically sending these people like sending the same people with the same kind of spirit i'm here same dna but some of y'all they sending other family members towards you and shit they weird they they got some type of um yeah they finna get some type of rude awakening as well yeah because there's a rebirth see maybe they thought that this was gonna end out or there, there was gonna be some type of death here but it, it didn't this see what's going or it's not gonna be um so I'm getting like there is a lesson here. And this person might definitely be down your throat about it or be mad about it. Like, yeah, Libra. What you was over there doing? Where was your antennas? Or something like that. But I'm getting like somebody should really just let bygones be bygones because they did what they did. But anyways, let's go on. Yeah, look, there's Finances in their career for Libra. This is going on. Finances in their career. What's going on? Finances in their career for Libra. Ooh. Dang, guys, it don't want to come out. Okay. Writing copy. Hmm. Have a clear goal in mind whenever writing for your customers. Indicate key messages and focus your attention on the buyer as a hero. Remember to pay. Remember to play with subheading colors and fonts. Um, I'm getting like put some creative creativity. Um, put some light into your energy or your work or, or something here. It's like. I'm getting like being creative with something, something that you're doing. I'm also hearing creative uh, criticism. I don't know what it is. Are you are are you expressing yourself? This could, I'm getting like somebody in their the way they're dressing. Um, put some creativity in it. Put some light in it. Um, express yourself a little bit more. Are you are doing this now? You're like blossoming here. But this can have something to do with customers. Um. This can have something to do with, like, people watching you or being around you. Mm-hmm. I'm here making something more festive. I just keep getting that. More color, more energy. Um, it could already have energy. It could already have color. But maybe you, you're needing to, like, brighten up the... I don't know why. I'm hearing, I told you to brighten up the place, not widen up the place. I don't know, what, what is that from? Oh, I'm getting like, you, you stand out, whoever you are. You stand out. People could be trying to take notes on you. Or like, you're doing something different. You know what it's giving me? Was that, um... It's one of them movies. I don't know which movie it is. It's one of them movies when um, that black man was dating that white white girl. Is it uh, is it um is it um that movie with Queen Latifah, Shop uh Beauty Shop or something like that? I don't know, but I'm getting like you, maybe you stand out to a crowd of people that this person, um, but no matter your race, whatever, you could stand out, 
um, or your ethnicity. Um, you could stand out in some kind of way here. Maybe your color, your design, your art, or something that you do here. You 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 are that radiant. You you are that bright bright um, ball of energy or ball of light. Like you're very radiant. But I'm getting like maybe everybody else is dull. Maybe they see you as the uh, outsider or you don't fit in or you're like you know what I'm saying. But I'm getting like the energy of keep doing you. Some something I'm hearing tickets are selling. Okay, whatever that is, that could just be um, a secret. Not I mean it's uh symbolic for like you know things are happening um things are on a sky rise for you people are watching or people are noticing um whether somebody feels some type of way about you or not whether somebody feels like um you're not enough or not um this person definitely does and like other people are watching you so don't even pay attention to what nobody else is thinking okay keep doing your thing libra okay keep being you keep shining if anything turn it up a notch okay baby and then we also have um, make practical by make pre uh, predictions by analyzing past and current trends, research market and and your competitors. Be flexible, find patterns, become an expert on one thing that will never change: human nature and the use to predict what is what what uh predict wants and needs. So trend analyst some of you guys keep you are keeping up with the trends or this will be very important with whatever you're doing when it comes to your careers and finances keeping up with the trends stay staying relevant um whatever people are doing whatever people want to see um keeping up with that okay i'm also hearing something about negotiation so, that is all I have for you guys. Thanks for chilling with your girl. I appreciate all the love and support you guys show to the channel. Thank you so very much. If this video has touched you energetically any kind of way, definitely go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace, love, and prosperity, my baby. Till next time. Mwah. Bye. <clears throat> hey, family. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Happy This Mark. Back with more tea, back with another read, and we're going to go right in, cleanse the energy for my Gemini. Let's see what is going on with my Gemini, cleansing the energy. Hi, power archangels, ancestors, gods, and goddesses of the divine one light. What do my Gemini need to know at this time? What's going, let's see what's going on with you, Gemini's. I'm getting like somebody working on some type of exercise or some type of routine or something that's stimulating the mind. Um, are you should be? I'm also getting like, like this could be just meditating, really. Just I'm getting like a calm um, state of mind or being peaceful at this time, Gemini, or getting your peace back. I'm also hearing tranquility, okay? Feeling like you re released. Something you could have been holding on to for a long time. You feel like that weight is off your shoulder. You feel good about it. Okay. Yeah, we got two months. So two months from now, something's going to... And there's going to be some type of significant change here. You're going to be... I'm here overwhelmed. So something might be... Whether it's overwhelming you now, or you might be overwhelmed two months from now. Here we got divine timing. Monday in two days. So maybe this is preparing for something here. Um, two months from now, I'm also here two weeks from now, unknown. So I feel like whatever this is, you're not really sure about it, or this haven't came to you yet. <laughs> <coughs> maybe something's gonna come tomorrow, or two days from now, and then it's gonna be overwhelming, or something significant about a Monday. I don't know. Um, today is Monday. Okay. Nope, today is Tuesday. Take that back. Um, the answer lies within the past. So, something about the past event. What? What? Wash up and get out.
see what's going on. What's going on for you? Could be dealing with Aquarius, Gemini, or had that highly aspected in your chart. What's going on two months from now? Okay, what's this two months from now energy for my Gemini family? Okay, some type of rejection or rejecting something, or whether you're being rejected or there's a rejection here that's happening two months from now here. Um, this could be somebody wanting to come back or somebody, yeah, you left somebody out in the cold, Gemini, and maybe you're not thinking about, um, or this person might come back around with open arms or something like that, or wanting to be in your good graces, Queen of Cups energy, I feel like you're a mother figure here, because somebody here is releasing, you have released something, you're going to find something new, you're going to, you're going to find something new, Gemini. So, you're going to um, actually begin away from somebody. Yeah, curious. I'm getting like you're curious about this. Um, maybe when you release somebody. Some of you guys could have recently went through a breakup um, or some type of separation or divorce here. And so, maybe if you're having a hard time right now or maybe you're um, just thinking about it. Not even necessarily having a hard time. Some of you guys, you are. But some of you guys, you're just kind of like... Um, so whether you're going towards the Queen of Cups or whether, um, you are this Queen of Cups mother energy, but I'm getting like some of you guys, something is overwhelmed or you're overwhelmed or this person's overwhelmed. I don't know what this is, but I'm getting like somebody's overwhelmed. Somebody could be thinking too much. Um, and maybe you were curious about moving on or being with somebody else or finding something new here. You maybe didn't think it would happen or you maybe didn't think it would happen that fast. But some of you guys, it's going to happen. Um, I'm getting like it's right up under your nose. So it's around you already here. Um, little do you already know. Yeah. I'm also getting the energy of like somebody could be dealing with financial um, problems at this time. Or somebody was like holding somebody back. Um, as far as their stability. Yeah, somebody could be unhappy here because of this. Um, inconsistency of money or, or lack in some type of way. Maybe you could be falling short on, on, on your on your funds here. Saying no to something is being stuck in some type of toxicity or some type of barrier. So like, whether you want to be stuck in this toxicity or not, it's like some something's like a, a ticket out in some kind of way here. But you might be rejecting something or you, something might come along and you might reject it um, or feeling like you don't have time for it right now because somebody is dealing with like whether this is you or somebody else is dealing with financial problems somebody is losing money um, maybe you can't keep a job or things are not working out for you or something here there's some type of instability that's happening we got hermit energy maybe you are reflecting on yourself and trying to understand um, about this energy of being left out in the cold or leaving somebody out in the cold. Great will. Okay, something here is destined to happen with the King of Swords energy. You could be a little sad. You could be crying or you could be feeling some type of way about leaving somebody out in the cold or being left out in the cold. Um, feeling like a bandit almost or feeling like you didn't like how somebody handled you or walked away from the situation or... You don't like how you handle someone, okay? Take it how it resonates, but with this King of Swords energy, I feel like you're being strategic, very analytic at this time here, but something was meant to happen here. I feel like you're missing the bigger picture of something, Gemini. It's like you're kind of like, oh, man, you know, they kind of put me in a rut. They kind of fucked me over, but you're missing the bigger picture of something. Something was kind of destined to move on. Like, you were destined to move on. So, what is this divine timing, Monday? I'm also here Monday morning coffee. Somebody feels like coffee in the morning. Yeah, a, ooh, you got a King of Cups energy that's looking at you. And we already have seen the Queen of Cups come out here. So, I'm getting like somebody is also like a father figure. Or they got like a lot of love here. Somebody's attracted to you. Um, and they can love coffee in the morning. Or you could love coffee. Something's happening two days from now. You might run into this person. Um, you guys could have had a conversation before. Or you guys are going to have a conversation. Like, you guys are going to just talk. Okay, kind of mingle. Kind of get to know each other. Or you're going to, like, bump into each other or something like that. And you guys are going to have, like, a good conversation. Wow. And then, like, this person who you could be leaving 
now are um getting away from our, our you know are that left you out in the cold um are you left out in the cold take how it resonate i'm getting like this person is going to try to come back around to you two months from now and this is going to be like surprising to this individual that you have moved on here it's almost giving the energy of like somebody um missing out on something good yeah, and I feel like you're going to be unapologetic and you're going to have your boundaries up. Like, well, oh, well, that's too bad. Energy. I don't know what Noel doing. Noel, get, wash up and get out. You're going to kind of be in like this. Oh, oh, you know, oh, well kind of energy. Um, Time to move on. Jimmy Neutron could be significant or somebody could be like really smart. He a genius, okay? Or somebody could have watched Jimmy Neutron when they were little. <laughs> or somebody could just be really into science. Somebody could like science or ge geometry. Like somebody could be like a math whiz. Yeah. I'm getting like somebody is kind of in their head about like this competition or you have a competition or some type of fighting. Fighting arguments. Okay. This is somebody, whoever is in their head, somebody's doing the research. I don't know if this is you or this is this person. Somebody's doing some type of research here, looking into something. Oh, they're looking into you. They're seeing you as this Queen of Cups energy. Um, but with the Five of Wands, it's coming out in reverse. Yeah. There was a delay conversation about a high priestess. Or there's a... Something that has not been said or there could be gossip about a high priestess here. Or somebody's being being or somebody uh, being very intuitive. King of Pentacles. Somebody could be losing out on money or losing a job or falling out or something here. Somebody's going broke. So I don't know. You could be the high priestess, this person could be the high priestess. But there's like some type of gossip or a lot of talk. About an individual. Maybe it's coming from somebody that's broke. I don't know. Um, but I get with this five of swords here. This is like, you know, anxiety. And, you know, kind of in your head type of energy. And cards are falling on the floor. So I feel like this is some stuff that people don't want nobody to know. It, it, okay, there's a king of wands energy. That's like indecisive at this time. And that has options. Oh, Okay. So, I'm getting like, you could be this high priestess, right? And you got a, uh, I'm hearing a nympho. So, it's a nympho, somebody that likes to have sex, that's out here and that's attracted to you. But, they're, they're like, in their head or they're weighing out options or they're just seeing you as a choice. They're not necessarily seeing you as a priority. Um, somebody that, you know, um, is that like firm. So, I'm getting like this person is indecisive. They're they're back and forth. They're in this nine of wands energy. Like I said, this could be this same person or this could be somebody else. For some of you guys, this is somebody else here. Okay? So, there could be three men out here. And like I said, you could be this high priestess or there's another woman out here that people are gossiping about. Or maybe they're gossiping about you, but this man don't see you as a high priestess. Maybe he doesn't know that about you. Maybe he just sees you as the queen of wands. He likes you, and he's been looking into the fact that you are this queen of cups energy. But then you got somebody out here. And for this, this king of wands coming out here, this could be somebody that you're attractive to, that you like. But they're in this nine of wands energy. And maybe they're an option to you. Like, high powers, like, that's, a, that's an option. That's a choice. Okay? Yeah, Ten of Cups coming out in the reverse. Somebody is waking up from some type of nightmare or illusion here. Are you are you seeing yourself waking up from something? Okay. I'm hearing something about being stranded on an island. Somebody put some type of end to something here.
Okay. Yeah, I'm getting like somebody's releasing something. It got something to do with, okay, this Ten of Cups family, maybe they're releasing some type of dynamic or structure. Rehab, re, re, no. somebody's going to rehab, okay? I don't know how to say it. Well, I can't really say it. Somebody could be going to rehab here. Somebody could be healing or getting rid of or walking away from something. People, places, or things that no longer serve them. This could have something to do with their family or this could be another family. You could be breaking loose of some type of title, ownership. Maybe you were a part, maybe this could even be somebody that you were involved with, their family, okay? And, like, maybe these people were materialistic, or maybe, you know, you guys didn't really have much in common um, about certain things. That's what I'm getting. Like, when it came to finances and things like that, maybe you're a little bit more settled. Maybe they're a little bit more expensive here. Or maybe this is you who's releasing um, some type of attention span. Somebody um, loses focus really quick. Or kind of wanders off. It can have something to do with this family. Or it can have something to do with, um, I don't know, this could be you. Yeah, some type of bad choice or decision here. Somebody made some type of bad choice or decision by wandering off or losing track or losing focus here. Um, I'm also hearing the choice is yours. So somebody made their choice here. I'm getting like, if somebody would have played their cards right, everything would have been all right. But because they didn't, um, somebody's walking away from something. Leaving something behind here. Hmm. So I'm getting like, all this is happening in the divine timing. Who is in this Nine of Wands energy? We got a king of, okay, that's too many. Can I get one or two? Giving and receiving. Somebody that you're giving and receiving with, some type of equal, uh, some type of exchange or something, some type of benefits. I'm also hearing something about a love triangle. This person could have put you in a love triangle. Whoever it is, king of wands energy is, that you could be finding attractive, they put you in some type of love triangle. Or somebody put you in a love triangle with the King of Wands. I don't know, but with the King... See, the King of Wands could just be an energy or it could be a person. I'm getting like with the Two of Cups and the Two of Cups. Somebody has some, don't have a decision with something. Or they had to make some type of difficult decision that they had no choice. Like they had to take some type of way out. No, but open the door and come out of there. Judgment. Judgment is being called on somebody. Again, I feel like you are this queen of cups here. You're this very loving, connected um, individual. So I'm getting like, this could be you who had to make some type of decision based off of, or this would be you, this would be, you would have to make this decision. Something's going to come towards you here, and you're going to have to make some type of decision. You could already be giving and receiving with somebody, but this person is, the, for one, they're the nine of wands, and they're indecisive, they're in and out here. And I'm getting like, you're going to call judgment on some shit here, because somebody is like wasting your time, or... They're not, they're not focused, they're worried about other things, or, you know, they got other stuff kind of on their plate, and I'm getting like, there's going to be some type of opportunity that's going to present itself here, and you're actually going to go for it, you're actually going to take it, okay? Yeah. I'm also getting like, you could be having dreams as well. Like, somebody's having dreams here. Somebody's having dreams. I'm getting like, somebody's trying to have strength at this time, okay? Leo energy coming out. Somebody's having dreams, okay? About some type of rivalry or war is going back and forth. Somebody doesn't want to release something. Um, this could be...
can be you. Like maybe you're having dreams and you have a. I'm getting like, okay, this is what this is giving me. So you guys are going back and forth with somebody, or somebody's going back and forth with what? With somebody. There's an opportunity to release something, or an opportunity to release something will present itself. Okay. Um, you could be dealing with some type of rivalry, or going back and forth, um, arguments, some some type of five of swords energy. You can even feel like a little backstab or that people turned on you, shunned you out or some kind of way. Um, or somebody left you out in the cold or you left this person out of the cold. But I'm getting like you could be having dreams about something, um, and it's making it hard for you to let go or to have this ace of uh wands or even star brand new connections. Um, because you're having dreams about wanting to be with somebody or or somebody sending you some type of telepathic message. But I feel like whoever this is, this could be this Knight of Wands energy who not they're just seeing you as an option. They're indecisive. They're all over the place. They're dealing with this and that and whatever, right? Um, or this is you. Take it however it may resonate, Gemini. But I'm getting like you could already be giving and receiving some type of energy with this individual. You could have something. Something's transpiring um, between you guys or something's going on here. <clears throat> but I'm getting like, like I said, whether you see this person as an option or they seeing you as an option. Um, and with this Knight of Wands energy, it's, it's, it's giving indecisive. It's giving like one minute they in, one minute they out, one minute they down, one minute they not. So this person really don't know what they want to do. But I'm getting like two days from now or on a Monday, divine timing is going to be at play. And like somebody's going to come towards you. Or you're going to actually bump into an individual that is going to be serious about you. And I'm getting like this person is going to be in this King of Cups energy. And you're already in this Queen of Cups. Now, I don't know if this person knows you already. Or somebody, somebody's doing some type of, um, somebody's doing some type of research about you. Somebody's doing some type of research about you, okay? Um... Is what I'm getting here. And they're seeing you as a queen of cups. Who's doing the research? Somebody that's not healed. And it could be this person that that's not a wand. They're doing some type of research on you. But they this person's not healed. And that's probably why they're in this not a wands energy. Okay. And, and then and there we go. They, they could know that you're going to be prosperous or something like that. They could know that you're going to have some type of wealthy family or something about stability or gener, um, generational. I'm getting, I'm also hearing something about generational curse. Some of you guys could have broke a generational curse or you're a generational curse breaker here. Yeah, curious. I, I'm getting like this person doesn't know what that means. They're, um,. They don't know exactly. It's in the room. They don't know exactly what that means or what that feels. This person doesn't. I don't know. They might don't see you as in high priestess because they don't know too much about it, and so they're they're kind of like lost on that part. I don't know. Maybe they're trying to do some type of. Because I'm getting like it's it's coming up that way, but then like they're needing to do some type of research or something. And they're, they're finding out that you broke some type of generational curse or something. But again, like I said, they have no idea what that means or what that is. Turn that TV down. Yeah, somebody's not celebrating here. Somebody's in some type of heartbreak because of a thief, yada, yada, yada. But let's keep going. So what's gonna happen? Yeah, um, an empress in reverse. Somebody dealing with an empress in reverse. Um, a false individual. Um, give me my phone, please. Bring me my phone, please. Okay. Yeah, moving into karma waters here. So what's going on here? High power. King of Wands. Hmm. I'm 
getting like this individual is going to be moving on to karma waters whoever this king of wands energy is um with some type of open chapter or something's been opened and something something's continuous here something needs to be closed out or there's still something some type of energy between you guys okay and it's falling out under unknown so maybe you might not know you know you might be unknown of this or what's going to happen here give me something else for unknown hierophant somebody's going to come back honorable or making some type of exchange here or, or you're going to learn some type of lesson by dealing with an individual and that could definitely make sense with that two months from now rejecting somebody and you see how it fell out over here i'm getting like something is is meant to happen okay to leave an individual out in the cold um or to walk away from them and maybe you maybe you didn't know this or maybe this is like catching you off guard here you can even be a little confused we got the chariot some type of forward movement here yeah five of cups rejection reject re i feel like somebody is rejecting some type of blockages are not coming forward are not are they will they'll reach they're going to re um not reject they're going to regret not making some type of move or not move forward but i'm getting like whatever this is this unknown this is actually happening here we got the queen of swords coming out in the reverse Somebody could be bitchy, upset, gossiping. Who is this Queen of Swords in reverse? Yeah, this could be some type of family member. They, they could be in some, I'm hearing a cult. This is a materialistic family member. Okay. This person loves with conditions. Okay. This person doesn't just give you their valuable love and time. It has to cost. It has to be something in it for them. Please. Please put that back and get out of my kitchen. Thank you. Okay. Get out. Now get out of my kitchen. Thank you. So, yeah. So, who is this King of Cups? Who is this King of Cups? For some of y'all, this is the same damn person, I feel like. That's for some. Because look, we got the uh, the Queen of Cups in the reverse. Okay. So for some of y'all, I feel like this, this, this King of Cups energy, it could just be somebody who's expressing themselves or coming in this King of Cups energy. Okay. I, it could... Uh, it's what it's giving me. But it's almost, it's like this person, okay, for some of you guys, it is two people, okay? But sorry if this, this reading seems a little confusing, because it is confusing me a little bit, Gemini. For some of you guys, it could be two people. For some of you guys, this is you, and you are, oh. If you're the masculine here, or if you're this person, then maybe that explains why the fuck this nine of wands is coming out. Because at one minute, they want to be the king of wands. And that's why Nympho came out. Somebody could be thinking what they want instead of thinking with their heart. And that is why it's coming out seeming like it's two. And yeah, I'm getting hot. That's why it's coming out and it's seeming like it's two people. Because I'm like, okay, so who is the king of cups? And I'm getting like, somebody's going to come forward. Okay, somebody could be indecisive whether or not they want to come at you at this, like, in this king of wands energy, bold, assertive. Um, you know, sexual type of energy, um, or if they want to, or this could have been who they were in the past. They could have stood more in the King of Wands energy, and now they're standing in the King of Cups energy. That's for some of you guys. For some of you guys, you actually do have two people, and even this King of Cups. If you have two people that's coming towards you, even this King of Cups here could be um in some type of isolation or in some type of regret. Are in some type of bad karma for not um, putting forth some type of effort. Now, whatever this effort may be, they could be dealing with a, a particular situation of their own. 
and we got the Queen of Cups coming out in reverse. This can have something to do with another woman. But see how we got the Empress in reverse as well. For some of y'all, you got two men that was dealing with two, you know, you got a King of Cups who was dealing with a Queen of Cups in reverse, and you got a um, King of Wands who was dealing with an Empress in a reverse, okay? So take that high area it may resonate. That's for some of you guys. And for some of you guys, you're dealing with the same person, but they could have been dealing with two different women. Okay, let's see. Clarify, please, high power. Let's see what's going on here. Yeah, we got a two of cups here, and then regret. Somebody regrets dealing with a two of cups, a third party energy. Um, left something open here, or some type of cycle was um open like somebody didn't complete something there's some type of thief energy here or somebody's trying to steal something somebody's trying to leave something open on purpose in order to come in and steal and for some of you guys that queen of cups in reverse energy could have even been a mom here yeah self-sabotage so somebody's mom could have invaded in this that's if you're dealing with one person okay i feel like i'm getting two different storylines somebody's mom could have been in something okay that's why we kept getting that that is why we got this Queen of Swords in this family, okay? Somebody that's loving with, but love with conditions, okay? They 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 temporary love somebody or something like that, okay? Or like I said, for some of you guys, it's just this person had a family with somebody who was like that, okay? Um, <clears throat> but I feel like with this Empress in Reverse, maybe they thought somebody was their divine counterpart or their happily ever after or something like that or this is you here. Um, so I feel like somebody's going to learn, yeah, we got the emperor, I feel like some, somebody's determined, somebody's going to learn some type of lesson here, or going to follow through with something, Gemini, or this could be you here, okay, we got the chariot and, and regret here, I'm getting like, you could regret knowing the things that you know, as far as, you know, having certain people in your family, or having a family with certain individuals, that could really like, pierce you in some kind of way, because, it, like I said, if, if you have a family with them, it's like your children was born by this individual. Or if you have, um, if, if this person is in your family, it's like you came from this individual or you have actual blood with this individual. And so, you know, that's, that's a little bit of a conflict for you because you feel like um, whoever this person is, they, they, they envy you, they spite you, this person does not like you. They also do not like this individual, or you do not like them with the Queen of Wands in reverse. I feel like they don't like this Queen of Wands, whoever you're looking at here. Some was meant to self-sabotage something, though. Somebody got into a, or was pushed into a Two of Cups, or was introduced into a two of cups only to self-sabotage something. Like I said, um, whether this was like, I don't care if you just met this person and wasn't nobody around to meet, have you introduced yourself to this person? If this is somebody that was dealing with two females. Um, this happened This this happened all on its own, but it was also not on its own. It was kind of one of those things where it's like, oh, by coincidence, but really not. Okay. It's like maybe to you it was, but it was like the right place at the right time type of energy. Um, somebody wanted you to bump into somebody or be with somebody or have some type of connection um, with somebody. Now, if somebody forced you or introduced you or, or told you to be with somebody else, this was all calculated as well. And so now I'm just trying to figure out. So who is over here that's getting, who who is getting rejected here? Who is getting left out in the cold? Oh, this two of cups in the reverse here. Judgment. Somebody's calling judgment on this two of cups. So the regret that they have with this two of, they have some type of regret being in this two of cups energy. And like I said, whether this was like a side chick um, or a baby mama, I did hear baby mama, but I also heard use a hoe, use a hoe, side my hoe. So, I don't know if somebody's calling you a hoe, saying like you're a sideline hoe, or they're saying like they're the main female or something. This could definitely be a situation. I did a reading like this before. But somebody could be saying like somebody's a side chick and blah, 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 blah. So, they had a family with somebody, but somebody actually, um, 
was only, you know, and I'm not going to say only was with somebody, but somebody had to, everything happened for a divine timing. Whoever I'm talking to, you, you are not the side chick. You're not the third party. But it might come off, it might come off that way. Because somebody was with somebody before. So, if this is resonating with you in that kind of way. But this was only for a lesson here. We got inspired. Somebody's being vulnerable at this time. Yeah, somebody does not see coming here, but somebody's going to lose some money. Or somebody's coming out of some type of money. We got this King of Pentacles in the beginning here, Queen of Cups. What is this? Somebody's not focusing on what they need to focus on, and this is why they're losing money. They don't see this coming here. The world, page of cups. Yeah, not apologizing, not ending something out, or completing something here. Leaving some, or, yeah, it's because of, you know, not giving an apology or not completing something out. Oh, this is why this, this, um, <clears throat> okay, I see it. This is why this, um, <clears throat> Wheel of Fortune in the reverse with the Page of Pentacles coming out upside down. Somebody's not giving some type of energy and therefore they're, they're going to lose out on something. Or they have already started losing out on something. Somebody is focused on the wrong things here. A thief, the future, or... It's like higher powers nudging somebody to do something. Um, and somebody is, you know, kind of worried about the other things. Or worried about things that don't matter. Um, is basically what I'm saying. And that makes sense with that Knight of Wands. Knight of, you know, Knight of, Knight of Wands, King of Wands. And it's just like starting out as a King of Wands and going down Knight of Wands. It's like, yeah. Somebody could definitely want to be married or want to be in a relationship, but, like, they're not. They're basically, like, losing their courage or not really putting forth the courage. It's like saying something, oh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, but they're not doing it here. Um, somebody could have a lot of burdens about making a good decision here. I feel like something's hard to do. Maybe this has to do with some type of stability. Or somebody wants to be stable when presenting some type of offer to you. So they feel like they want to be the king of pentacles. But what's going to happen is because they're taking too long and they're focused on the wrong things, they're going to start to lose. It's almost like somebody's trying to control the outcome of a situation here instead of just going with the flow power. Um, this is like some type of change. But this is meant to happen here. Um... Yeah, I'm getting like something's gonna go something with this the divorce or a settlement or break a breakup or some sort. I don't know if somebody's losing some type of money because of a breakup or they already did because of a breakup. But this could have been somebody who was like really really in their ego or always worried about money and finances. And so it's like her power is showing somebody something like finances and money and all that is not it's not always the bigger thing. This could be somebody who wants things to be perfect. They're kind of like controlling things. And it's a higher power saying like somebody's being used as a puppet on a string and they might not even know it. Like say for instance, if somebody studied trying to get money and finances together and then you got an individual who does not want you to be with somebody and they know that you're worried about finances or whatever in order to be with somebody, they're going to keep doing something as far as like your finances are tormenting you or hurting you. So that you will not ever be in the energy of going towards or being with somebody because you're focused on finance and career and all this other stuff. When I probably was like, just go ahead because you're going to keep getting delayed. You're going to keep getting pushed back. Yeah, this is somebody that's being sneaky here. And this is being outed. Yeah, name of wands energy. Somebody's trying to manipulate the energy. Or they're trying to manipulate how somebody um, is rebuilding or starting their life over. Eight of pentacles, eight of pentacles. I can't make it up. Literally. They're trying to manipulate how somebody rebuilds or how somebody starts over. Um, and what somebody doesn't realize is 
these people don't control or you can't even control your finances. And that is what higher power is going to show somebody um, in a minute is what I'm getting here. It might not be happening right now, but it's going to happen unexpectedly because um, whether higher power is telling you to do something and you're refusing or you're going against the grain, it's like, okay, I can put a halt in all this shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm the only one who can control what comes in, what's, what's going out. I'm hearing that's right. <laughs> I'm the only one that can that can control what's going in and what's coming out. So it's like if you, um, if I'm telling you to go ahead and do this and that and not worry about this, and you're continue to worry about that, and then it's like you're getting pushed back more and more and more on something that needs to happen. And I'm getting like this is why we have divine timing here. Something is divine timing. Divine timing is literally at play, but because somebody's constantly trying to control it. They're coming off very stingy. Um, I'm also hearing hard headed. Um, they're co coming off a little bit self centered because they're on. They're worried about materialism, okay. And this could be somebody's nature. Like if this is an individual that um they work. Listen, I'm telling you, if this is somebody who worries about, you know, three of cups again, they worry about, you know, materialism things. Oh, uh, what I'm gonna wear, how I'm gonna dress, my car, my hair, my this, my that, my makeup, my my this, my outfit, blah blah. blah. High powers teaching somebody a lesson by not having those things. Also showing you that somebody don't care about that shit. They're going to love you anyways. Okay. I'm also getting like this is going to be also an opportunity for somebody to start from scratch here. Rebirth. From some type of karmic relationship. This is going to be an opportunity for somebody to start from scratch. Um, Take the pennies that you have and make them into billions. This is... This is also a way for you to, like, rebuild. And it's actually, yeah, boundaries. Because guess what? I'm getting, like, if you share some type of income or if somebody took something from you or if you started off with nothing, you know how that saying goes, started from the bottom, now we here. And it's like if you started off with nothing and you ain't got nothing and people playing with your money, people playing with your finances here, and you start over and you start rebuilding, then you don't owe nobody shit. It's like nobody could ever say, oh, yeah, fix their mouth. Oh, yeah, I helped you. I did this. I did that. You owe me um, this and that and that. And I'm also getting like higher power is going to bless somebody with 10 times more than what they had before anyways. It's just taking a leap of faith. See, somebody here has to believe that higher power is actually going to put things in alignment. It's like somebody doesn't believe that. Somebody's like, man, I got to, I got to, you know, you know, you got to kind of give it to faith. And family, I, I'm going to be real with y'all. I've been in this situation my damn self by myself. Like I I remember when I I this was a while back when my baby was like little. I remember when I, I didn't have, you know, the money to pay my rent and things like that. But it wasn't that, you know, I was tricking off my money or anything like that. It's just it was my first time moving in my first house by myself and I was like really getting on my feet. I was working and everything, but then I was getting myself together for I had to get all my stuff for Noelle by herself. So let, let's just be honest. So I, um, you know, I was, I had this little baby. I, you know, what I'm saying I was back working, things like that. And then like, I had, you know, was cups. I was short. And I remember sitting there thinking like, damn, where the fuck is this money gonna come from? And I remember y'all when I say that she came literally out the sky. It came out the sky, bitch. I forgot what happened. I think some money came that was owed to me from. I don't know where the fuck it came from. Like it came from like way back or something that was old to me from somewhere like it just came and then it was like that was the little bit i needed to put the rest of for the rest of my rent and then i just was thinking like bro that, that's god like sometimes you just gotta take that leap of faith and you just gotta believe that yeah higher power is gonna make it happen you know whatever it is it's just like having faith i feel like this is also a lesson and that's why somebody's coming out on a hot as a hierophant in this in this energy in the future unknown because somebody's going to come out as a hyper because they are actually going to have this faith i don't know they're going to build it up it's going to happen this person i feel like this person ain't gonna have no choice because they're going to be chasing something that ain't going to be coming <coughs> mm. and see somebody don't want me to say that this is like dangling something in somebody's face that other people know ain't never going to come to them it's like oh yeah well we got them chasing waterfalls while we got them over here wasting time. And then I say something about Leo energy. 
yes, go check out that Leo Reed I labeled it Chasing Waterfalls. It's like while we got this person over here chasing waterfalls, while we got them wasting time, while we got them doing this, you know, they're delaying you on your process, on your journey, on your, your final destination, on, on you know, your routine and rebuilding your life over. Like time is, is literally spilling over. Time is wasting day by day, day by day, day by day. Yeah, because I'm getting like somebody here is trying to be very analytic and very strategic on how how to play with your funds or how to play with your money. If if you're worried about stability, if you're worried about career, if you're worried about a job here, and I feel like you are whoever I'm talking to or this person is who I'm talking to, coming out as the King of Pentacles in reverse. Because I promise, like you know what, I'm gonna just I'm gonna just put this out of hope. Now, instead of somebody getting depressed because they ain't got no money, they need to find out a way to keep moving forward here. That is the way it's going to come. We got the devil energy. Okay, what is this? We got yes, and we got confused. So somebody could be dealing with a Capricorn or this is a um, some type of toxicity here. Somebody could be in this hermit energy watching. They're also uninspired here. Okay, Ten of Cups energy. Okay, I'm also getting this got something to do with this family. Again, this Ten of Cups. Um, yeah, these somebody here is watching. And we got yes, meaning like keep moving forward here. I'm getting like it's a yes here. Somebody's confused. They're confused about how this... Whether it's the Ten of Cups that's confused or there's a, they're confused about a, a Ten of Cups. They could be confused because somebody's not taking a leap of faith forward. Or what's this? What's the full run of? What's the full run of? Yes. Whoever somebody was in this two of cups with, they were doing magic. And I was getting that. But I, I ain't necessarily want to say that because that ain't come out yet. But there it go. Um, with the magician in reverse, we got the behind the ten of swords in reverse. That's definitely trying to spin something out here. So somebody's confused about how something's going to continue. Now, we got the ten of pentacles in the reverse and this is the ten of pentacles in the upright. Now, this could just be a family, but maybe it's not that materialistic family. Maybe that is you having a family here i do feel like whoever this could like i said this could be a person place of thing this could be a group of people but this capricorn toxic energy could rep, just represent some type of bondage or people bonded to something or it can represent an individual whoever this is somebody's confused or they are confused like people are confused they're watching in the background here Give me the ten of cups. Yeah, juggling. Because I'm getting like somebody still has hope and faith. Somebody still uh, wanted to move to come of waters. Who is this that's holding on? Oh, my God. Hermit. Hangman. I'm getting like whoever that's in this hermit energy finding out information or doing some type of discoveries about a karmic lover. And also being stingy towards this karmic lover, karmic individual. <clears throat> Decided not to work with them no more. Fell out of love with them. Did not want to collaborate with them. I'm also getting like a 16 and pregnant type of energy. 17 and pregnant. Somebody could have got pregnant at a young age. I'm getting the, um, the show team moms. Whoever this person is, they're confused on why somebody's still holding on why this hermit so i'm getting like there's two hermits here somebody that's watching somebody that's doing research now i don't know because we got somebody that's doing magic and then we got the empress now let's not forget we got an empress over here right and remember i was saying there's gossip about an empress or something here because we got the eight of wands coming out in reverse that's gossip especially with a queen of swords in reverse out here that's double that's double mouth being ran like somebody's mouth keep running like water or some shit and I'm getting like, these, these people could be doing hermit. You could be a hermit. Somebody else could be hermit. Because this could be a man or a woman. It's going to take how I resonate. But I'm getting like, hermit energy is happening here. See, see, I'm getting like, people finding out information day by day. Literally, tapping in day by day. 
Queen of Wands in the upright. Queen of Swords in the reverse. Somebody is somebody telling somebody thank you. Yep. And I'm getting like somebody's being strategic about how they do so. I'm getting like this could be this man that's in Hermit. Because remember I said somebody was doing research. Or they're figuring something out here. Yep, I can't make it up. King of Swords. But I'm getting like they're in this King of Swords in reverse when it comes to this lover situation. Oh, somebody's defending this. I feel like. Are they being very like, <clears throat> yeah, they're all like on somebody's ass here. This magician, look at that. And their investments or whatever that they invested in. Yeah, they want this person to be put to an end here. They want to put something to an end or this person tried to put something to an end. Yeah. This person is celebrating coming out of this bondage here. Getting some type of divorce or working away uh, from this unhealed in individual. I do feel like this person still needs their time to heal. Um, or they felt like this situation that they were in was the healing for them. Somebody's celebrating, though. Like, they're not sad about it. They're actually happy about moving on from something and leaving something in the dust. But money could be a problem. And you know what? It's so crazy, y'all, because I promise you, I said this in one of my other videos. Like, I be hearing, bitch better have my money. <laughs> Y'all should know me well enough. Pay me what you want. I'm like, somebody said somebody better have their motherfucking money. Like, what is going on? And I meant to do that reading over there on the Pisces way. Make it just a general read. Because I've been hearing it so much. And I was hearing it today. So I'm like, no wonder though. I was hearing it because it came out in this reading. Yeah, somebody's waiting on them to get them their money or something like that. And... And that's what they waiting on, or, 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 or something with a job, finances, a career, something here. But somebody said, thank you for being just who you are, okay? Let's see, what's going on with money for Gemini? What's going on with career and finances? We just got a little bit of it. What's going on with career and finances? Yeah, I'm here to take a leap of faith here. You'll be surprised. What's going on with career and finances? To my humanized. Who gonna get their hair done? Somebody better get their hair done. I'm here a genie ponytail. <laughs> Customer interviews. It says, whomever understands the customer best wins. Before before going too deep, get some get some insight from current or potential customers by interviewing five or ten of them about your product or problem or the problems it's solving. So I'm getting like, if this is talking about your career, your finances here, whatever you're doing, your business, okay, um, her power saying. Get some, I mean revenue, step out there and get some uh, 101, word, uh, word of mouth. You need some type of 101 word of mouth. Like, if if, you, if people seeing you or people purchasing from you, or it's kind of like a, um, when you ask people to review. It's like review, review, how was your service, review, how was the, how was the quality of the product, or, or something like that. Like, get some type of reviews, get some type of feedback on you know one-on-one type of um a rating okay <clears throat> we got intern operating principles documentation is a love letter that is written to yourself um documenting processes ensure st still waters or will be your life bowl in a stormy Oh, in a stormy sea. Build a solid new employee onboarding experience. Improve common knowledge with an intern uh, walkie. Document your company processes, process, including how to check, find, and update them. Document, document, document. Oh, so some of you guys, you need to get more into writing things down, like when it comes to your business, your products, or whatever you're doing as far as finances here. 
um, get in the habit of writing down old dates, like dates and time. Oh, and at this day, I had this much going. This was successful. That was successful. Um, get some type of business journal is what High Fiber is saying. You know, I, um, well, not only that, but, in, you know, interview your customer. Get feedback. Um, ask people to comment or ask people to um, rate your service or ask people to um, tell you how, how was everything. Is, is there anything that you could have did better? Um, is there anything? It don't matter where you work either, though. I'm getting as far as anything that you're doing here. Um, ask for feedback is what I'm getting. And also document last. I don't know. Keep it tabs or something. Last time you seen something. Last time you heard something. Last time you did this. Last time you did that. Keep it some type of tab. Um, some type of business. I'm also hearing co um compliments. Yeah, and you know what? I keep getting yeah. So some of you guys, you you could be getting compliments. Um, I keep getting disruption. Disruption that came out the whole time for air reading. I feel like all air signs, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini are getting major disruption when it comes to your business, finances, and careers. This keeps coming out. Um, people are definitely, so I feel like this is important for you to get feedback here because you got people that are trying to intervene with your your money. I'm also hearing customer service, so how um, people view you or how the quality of your work is. People are trying to dictate that in some kind of way, and they could be energy vampires. Um, doing some weird stuff. But that is all I have for you, my Gemini family. Thanks for tuning with your girl. I appreciate all the love and support you guys show to the channel. Thank you so very much. If this video has set you energetically in any kind of way, definitely go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe, that notification bell, and I will check you in the next, in the next one. <laughs> Peace, love, and prosperity. Till next time, family. Bye.